Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of the Backup Team Application version 12 Tips and Tricks. In today's episode I wanted to talk about of course uh, tapes again and this time I wanted to touch upon the subject of inventory and cataloging. So what, what's inventory and what is cataloging? So basically inventory uh, option this option is responsible for checking if uh, any data is actually residing on your tape. So if you have a couple of tapes, let's say in a pool like mine, and those tapes have been already rewritten with something, once you run a inventory, you can do like this. Depending of course on how much uh, space does the tape have has. Because it, it can actually have quite a lot of space. Uh, my tapes have like uh, 12 terabytes each, but those tapes are basically trash, they don't have anything on them. But if I had any kind of backup of those tapes at the moment, the inventory would show that one of this tape, those tapes or a few of those tapes have some kind of data written upon it. So as you can see, it completed quite fast and it showed that there is no data on those tapes. So basically the option of inventory will check uh, what kind of data and how much data do you have on the tape or on the tapes from uh, some pool that you actually have. And what is about the catalog option? The second option which is catalog. Well, let's say we made a backup of some kind of virtual machine here on this first tape and we are now taking this tape to a different location so basically the tape is being unloaded from my beam here in this location and it goes to a second location somewhere else so i bring the tape to the administrator the administrator loads the tape into the beam backup sorry into the tape machine then he checks in into beam and first of all, what he will uh, need to do, he needs to run inventory, so he will actually check um, what kind of uh, thing is on the tape and how much uh, actually, um, how much space does the tape, uh, the, the tape take. And second of all, he's gonna run the catalog. So when he uh, runs the catalog option on the first tape, the catalog option is gonna uh, go through the tape and it's gonna see that on this tape there is a virtual machine called for example Debian 12 or whatever and this virtual machine doesn't exist in the second environment in the second place that we went to so basically this is uh, what catalog is doing it's gonna check the whole tape it's gonna go through the data and it's gonna add the data from the tape to your database in the second location so if you didn't have the virtual machine previously for let's call it for example Debian or exchange server or whatever then it's gonna go through the tape and it's gonna put the virtual machine into your virtual environment straight from the from the tape so basically these are the two differences. So inventory only checks the tapes, uh, how much space is actually available on them and, uh, uh, and what's on the tapes. And the second option which is cataloging, it allows, uh, it allows you to actually take what's inside the tape and put it in your environment. Okay, so if you like the content, uh, like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.